Five fun ways to enjoy daily family life more. How much are you having fun? Hopefully, a lot. After all, when you have a family, you have built in companions for every adventure. Kids especially bring fun and excitement into the day, or can if you let them. On the other hand, daily routines can start making things stale. You wind up in the rut of the same old, same old. If you're feeling things have lost their sparkle at home, it's time for some fun. Following, you will find some tips designed to help you dive right into the fun. In no time at all, you'll be enjoying daily family life more and more. Start the day with smiles. Waking up a child can be a cranky, difficult task. Varying this routine becomes crucial to setting up the day for success. Silly alarm clocks, coming into the room singing, or even introducing the pets into the room can make wake up time something to enjoy. The key here is to tackle this moment playfully, with the goal of creating the tone you want for the rest of the day. Create contests. Who can get dressed the fastest? Who can create the most creative pancake art using fruits and other toppings to make their artistic creations? What about a lemon and spoon race? Come up with little bits of competition, keeping it fun and friendly, of course. Decorate. Pull your home out of its rut by taking the family out to find a new treasure to add to the decor. Go antiquing. Visit a craft store and grab the materials to create a fresh original work. Take a day trip and find a memento as a souvenir of the outing. To set out as a visual reminder of a really great day. Read out loud. Little kids love being read to, but did you know? So do big kids and even adults. Picking up a good book and reading a chapter out every day engages the mind, and also helps promote literacy. More importantly, it creates a bonding experience over a story that's just plain fun. Start with something everyone is sure to love, like Harry Potter, or get a recommendation from your local librarian. Do something grand. Prepare for a marathon or a 5K with younger kids. Volunteer in your community. Plan a vacation. United goals give the whole family something to look forward to, especially if there's a lot of planning or practice involved to keep the goal fresh and interesting. Remember, the key to enjoying your daily family life more is just to relax and have fun. Follow these tips. More importantly, follow your heart. If there's something your family loves to do, make a point to do it. Life is too short to waste in dull routines. Embrace this time together, building fabulous memories for the future. Your family will thank you for it. Five tips for making everyday parenting more fun and less stressful. Kids can be a challenge. While there's no doubt you love them dearly, the day-to-day -day can involve a lot of little stresses. Between keeping everyone fed, clean, and happy, it's easy to get lost in the routine and lose the fun out of the day. This is a shame because really, these years when you're parenting your child. Should be one of the most rewarding times in your life. Thankfully, it's pretty easy to put the fun back into the everyday parenting routine. The added benefit: joy takes the stress out of the day, so everyone wins. Read on to find out how. Start slow. The hardest part of waking up is the abrupt cessation of dream time. With this in mind. Begin the day gently when you want to set a less stressful tone. Sing a soft song as you gently rub the child's back. Talk softly. Maybe tickle the child lightly, not hard, to draw them back into wakefulness. Have a warm robe ready to start the day cozy and snug. Make breakfast fun. Now that you're up, keep the tone of the fun by introducing fun shapes in breakfast food or creating a picnic. How about a game while eating? For extra bonus points, invite the child to help with breakfast preparations. Give out reminders. 
write messages on steamed mirrors, include notes and lunches, which include fun quotes, jokes, or games, put a post-it on a bedroom door, or stick one on one of their homework assignments to find when they get to school. Let your family know you love them and enjoy being with them every chance you get. Create new traditions. New traditions don't have to be complicated. Do things that make a unique statement about your family. Form a secret handshake. Decide on a regular family night involving games and food and fun. Go shopping for others. Making up gift bags for the homeless or animal shelters. Create your own family equivalent of April Fool's Day. Whatever it is, the point is to make it fun, meaningful, and something you practice regularly, as that's what traditions are all about. Smile more. Laugh. Show your family you love spending time with them by expressing it on your face. Remember, every one of you is capable of setting the tone for the day. Jokes, giggles, belly laughs should be part of your regular repertoire. You'll be surprised at how contagious this is. By following these steps, you'll find the day flows much more smoothly. The kids are relaxed and having fun, and so are you. A win-win all around. Five counterintuitive tips for adding excitement into your long-term relationship. Passion. When you hear the word, what do you picture in your mind? If you're thinking only about the bedroom, you're missing half the fun. Passion involves living fully with enthusiasm. Applied to your relationship, it encompasses every aspect of your life together. Now think about this. Just how much passion do you enjoy in your life? It's time to think passionately. Are you ready to add more excitement to your long-term relationship? If so, read on for some tips that take a somewhat unexpected route to get there. Take some me time. How can you possibly be at your best with your partner when you never take time for yourself? Pulling back to recharge, and yes, even pamper yourself, leaves you more relaxed and receptive when it comes to time to be with your lover. Not sure where to begin? What are some of the things you've been passionate about? For example, if you love bubble baths, then by all means indulge. This is your time. Share sparingly. Not everything needs to be said. Maintaining mystery can actually spice things up a little. Drop hints. Tell only part of the story. Stir the passions by becoming an enigma needing to be solved. Introduce them to your interests. Did you know your eyes light up when you talk about something you love? Allow yourself to experience your passions fully, even the ones which have nothing to do with your significant other. They will be enthralled by the change that comes over you when you're excited about the things you love. By extension, they'll feel your excitement right along with you. Here is where your long-term partner will discover new layers to the one they love. This is especially powerful when you invite them personally into this world, allowing them to explore it with you. Experience growth. There is nothing exciting in someone who has gone stagnant. Take a class and learn something new. Work through your past. Become more, better than you've ever been. You, at your best, is a fantastic thing. Your long-term partner will share in the excitement of your growth as they discover alongside you who you really are. Make them your lover. In the end, don't forget to direct that passion squarely at them. Your long-term partner needs to feel like your lover. Make them this first in your mind, with all the passion which goes along with this. Then. Engage them on this level for some truly fireworks-worthy time together. The passion will sizzle and crackle between you, whether you're in the bedroom or not. Seven easy ways to keep the excitement in your romantic relationship. Is the honeymoon over? Life is so darn busy, 
Is it any wonder you're not feeling the warm fuzzies quite so much in your relationships? After all, it's hard to keep romance alive when you're always on the go, lost in a maze of responsibilities involving work, child-rearing, and active social life. The good news is you can save a draggy romantic relationship quite quickly. By following this handful of tips, you'll both put the excitement back right where you need it, and you'll discover a romantic new you you never knew existed. Try surprise. What is your significant other's favorite thing? Is it flowers, ice cream, a new book to read? Whatever brings out that smile is your goal here. Bringing home some small, random gift or doing something unexpected such as making reservations at a favorite restaurant goes far in keeping the relationship fresh and exciting. Verbalize your feelings. Text messages, a short little romantic email, or even a quick phone call on their lunch hour, lets the other person know you're thinking about them. Schedule some us time. Not seeing enough of each other? The solution is simple. Put it on your calendar. A regular night out gives you something to anticipate throughout the week. Say it simply. You know the magic words. When was the last time you used them? A random I love you needs to become part of your daily conversation if it isn't already. Experiment. When was the last time you did something new with each other? Take a class. Go somewhere you haven't been to before. Try a little something out of the ordinary in the bedroom. You'd be amazed at how new experiences shared with the one you love can bring spice back into your life. Double the fun. What about couple time with other couples? Hanging out with others in strong relationships has a way of reinforcing your own feelings for one another. Be excited. Remember how thrilling it was when you saw each other for the first time after any kind of absence? An enthusiastic greeting always sets the tone for the rest of the date, didn't it? Try it now to watch the other person's eyes light up. It shouldn't be hard. After all, you are happy to see them already. The key to all of this is really quite simple. Being mindful of your relationship and putting the effort in to be more attentive and aware is what yields the results. Hopefully, these tips will serve as a jumping-off point for some more ideas of your own. Remember, what counts here is the effort. When the other person knows they're loved and appreciated, The excitement very naturally follows. Seven simple ways to get your life out of a rut. Are you going nowhere fast? Life falls into a rut when we become complacent. Things are going well, so we start striving to keep the status quo. It makes sense. After all, there's very little stress when every day is the same and nothing changes. On the other hand, Things get boring pretty quickly. You're not learning new things. Without goals or activity towards those goals, you become stagnant. You've lost forward momentum. Is this any way to live? It's time to haul your life out of that rut. If you're tired of mediocrity, then read on to find out several simple ways to bring back the excitement you've been missing. Embrace the day. How you begin the day tends to dictate how the rest of it will go. This means starting things out on a positive note. Begin with the sunrise. Find somewhere you can watch the sun greet the earth. And as the rays touch the sky, think about all the wonderful things the day holds. Listen to something new. Even an effort so small as trying out something new musically can push you out of your rut. Many musical streaming services offer suggestions of what to listen to next. Rather than stick to your usual playlist, see what's being offered. Play. Children know how to relax and have fun. There's not a six-year-old in the world who even understands what it means to be in a rut. Do something to engage your inner child. Color or create some messy art. Get some Legos or Play-Doh and create. 
Need help? Try babysitting. Spending time with actual children will give you an opportunity to play entirely without inhibitions. People watch. What do other people do? Get out and enjoy the conversations around you. Watch how people interact. For bonus points, perform a random act of kindness for someone around you. Engage in randomness. Not sure what to do? Try a coin flip between choices. Or go to a movie theater and see the next movie playing, regardless of what it is. Or pick a book off the shelf at the library without looking first to see what it is. Learn a new language. Learning a new language helps to stimulate the mind toward further growth. The more fun application? A Google search will teach you all the words the language tapes don't show you. It's actually quite satisfying to learn how to swear or say passionate things in another language altogether. Try a different hand. Do something with your opposite hand. This can have pretty hilarious results when you try doing things like art or writing. Try competing with friends to see who is the best opposite hand artist. Ruts aren't hard to beat. Just keep pushing to try new things or to do old things in new ways. Soon, you'll be on the road to excitement.